I've had my brand now for five years and I have crowned myself the DIY queen. I could figure anything out. So as an entrepreneur, you wear many hats and web designer is the hat that I have on today. Hey angels, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa and I'm the face behind St. Venus. And in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to create your own Shopify website that's not gonna just look great, but make customers actually want to shop. I'm gonna walk you through how to make your home pages, your product pages, your policy pages, and so much more. And at the end of this video, you're gonna have a site that looks professional, that looks clean, and it's gonna be ready for your next launch. So getting right into the video, we're gonna pick a theme and Dawn comes pre-installed, but Shopify has so many free themes in their theme library to choose from. And in today's video, I'm gonna be using Tinker because that's the one I really like. Now that we have our theme installed, we're gonna go in and update the color scheme to match our brand colors. The key here is to keep your brand aesthetic cohesive across your socials and your website. And I really recommend writing down your color codes so it is the exact shade no matter where a customer lands. And the cohesive brand visual identity doesn't just end at your logo and colors. You also wanna think about the fonts that you're using on your site, on your socials, and make sure that the typography here also closely matches what you're using everywhere else. And now we can start designing the website, but the first page we're gonna build is not gonna be the home page. It's actually gonna be the password page. We're gonna be creating a landing page that's gonna collect the emails and phone numbers of customers when they come on your site. I can't stress enough just how important email and text message marketing is for your brand. And starting building your list from the very beginning is crucial to your success. So having this password page double as a subscriber collection page is going to be exactly what you need to have an audience pre-built before you launch. So this list is important. Using the right platform to both send your campaigns and analyze the data is even more important. I've tried a few different platforms and I'm currently using OmniSend for all of my emails and text messages and I absolutely love it. Email and text message has some of the highest ROI in marketing. Brands on OmniSend are getting on average $68 back for every dollar spent sending campaigns to their list. And as a small business owner, ROI is everything. I'm going to be using OmniSend to embed a subscriber collection form onto this page and I'll show you exactly how. We're gonna be using Shopify apps to enhance our site. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the apps are toggled on, activated and ready to use. We're gonna start by hiding the password template that comes with the theme because it's just too plain and we want something that screams aesthetic and you know, a bit of personality. So we're gonna to go to section and we're gonna open up the large logo and change the color scheme to one that fits what you're going for. This is the one that I chose. Next, we're gonna insert this marquee section, which is that rolling banner, and you could have the text say anything you want, but I think opening soon or coming soon, or maybe a launch date would be great here. I have this section in the custom color scheme that we created for a bit of contrast, which is gonna be essential for any design to really come together. I've quickly jumped over to OmniSend because I'm gonna show you where to find the form that we're gonna be using for the password page. There are so many templates to choose from, but we're actually gonna to go to embedded forms because the embedded forms are gonna have a site code that we're gonna be able to copy and paste. That way our form shows up on the password page. So on this form, we wanna collect as much information as possible without being too overwhelming. So let's just ask for their first name, email, and phone numbers, and then also make sure to include the legal consent for text messages right here as well. We'll press save, and now we have that custom code created, and we're gonna paste this onto the password page. The next section is gonna be our hero section, and this is gonna be where we embed that form that we created on OmniSend. So we're gonna add in blocks, and we're gonna look for spacer and custom liquid. Within custom liquid is where you can copy and paste the code that OmniSend provides you for embedded forms. And just like that, the password page is coming together all thanks to this OmniSend collection forms. If you're interested in using OmniSend, they're actually the sponsor for today's video and they've given me a 30% off code to share with my audience. So you'll get 30% off your first three months with the code Vanessa30 or you can scan the QR code that's here on screen. And as always, I'll have all links and codes listed in the description for you guys to grab as well. 
Now in this next section, we're gonna include our InstaFeed app, and this is just great social proof of your brand and what you're doing and how you're promoting yourself, and it syncs automatically to your feed, so it's always up to date. And the last thing that I'm gonna include are social media links on the bottom, and you're gonna go into sections and type in footer utilities. I'm actually gonna hide the first two sections here just because I just want the social links to show up right here in the corner. And here we have it, we have our password page. It looks stunning and always make sure to check how your site is coming along on both the desktop and the mobile views. So we're gonna get started with our homepage, starting with our announcement bar at the top. We've all seen this before. That's where we go to look to see if there's a sale ending soon, if there's free shipping, and that's what we're gonna put here. And next is gonna be our header and our hero section. So your header is gonna be across your entire website. So this never changes, you're gonna have that menu option up there. And I love this transparent header that goes great with our hero image or video. And I love that this theme comes with the option to have a video here. I just feel like it looks elegant and it's definitely set to leave an impression for your customers when they go on your site for the first time. And on this section, you wanna have a call to action, a shop now button, an introductory to a new product, something that you wanna highlight here. And we're gonna make sure to link that button to the correct page as well. And right under this section, we're going to feature anything new that you have coming up or any product that you really want people to see right away. A lot of people don't scroll through your whole entire website, so if you have any products that you wanna highlight, this is where you're gonna do that. If you have a new arrivals coming, this is the section to highlight that right under your featured product or collection. So this next section is gonna be our social proof. If you already have a site and you're just revamping your site, then definitely you wanna include reviews to the section as well. This website example is gonna be for any sites that are newly launching. So we're gonna have our Instagram feed here as a great way for people to see our brand in action. And once again, that's social proof. Right under that, we're gonna do the icon with text. And this is where you can highlight anything about your brand really quickly and efficiently. So if you're sustainable, if you're woman owned, if there's anything that you wanna highlight really quickly, I would do that here. They have tons of icons to choose from, so you're sure to find something to fit what it is you're trying to communicate. I love the template that they come with, so I'm gonna leave that on the site for now and move on to the footer. So your footer section is actually gonna be across your entire website. So we really wanna make sure that you have a lot of necessary information here. You have an email subscriber list just to catch anybody that may have missed signing up or missed your pop-up that we'll actually create in just a sec using OmniSend. And we're also gonna have quick links to navigate around your site very easily. And that way people can find what they need no matter where they are, if they're at the top of your site or the bottom, they don't have to do much scrolling. And we wanna make navigating our site as easy as possible. So I've just switched over to OmniSend again, and we're gonna go to Forms and create a pop-up. So we're gonna go to pop-up, and I'm gonna select their welcome discount template. I think this is a great start. I wanna make sure the visibility is both on desktop and mobile, and I wanna include your name, your phone number, and your email, as well as that legal consent, and then change the aesthetic to match your site. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna save the form, and since this is a pop-up and not an embedded form, there's nothing else we have to do. We already have OmniSend toggled on as an app on our Shopify website, so it's automatically going to sync to your site. If you want a video on setting up OmniSend so your store is connected properly, let me know and I'll go ahead and do that for you. So that's it, this is our finalized homepage. We have our site pop-up showing up perfectly and I think this page looks amazing and I can't wait to see how you guys really make this page your own. So the next page we're gonna create is a frequently asked questions page and we're gonna do that by creating a new template. And this theme actually comes with a frequently asked section that you can easily pop in and I love it because the questions will all be up front and when they click into it that's when the answer is revealed so just put in here your shipping policy your returns policy any information that someone might need to know before they shop with you things like what happens if their items is lost maybe you want to include your sizing chart here or any necessary information because you want people to feel comfortable you know spending money on your site especially if you're new and they might just be unfamiliar you're not gonna be able to cover all the questions that might be asked, so I definitely recommend also having a contact form at the bottom of this page. So if anybody has any additional questions, it's easy for them to get in contact with you. Your goal with your site is to make things easy, okay? We don't want people having to click around your site to figure out how to reach out. Just keep things where it makes the most logical sense in their customer journey. Now we're gonna move on to our collection page and our product pages. Now the collection page, we're actually just gonna use what the template comes with and not do many changes here, but I did make sure to make the product 
icons small that way since I only have four products on this site everything fits on one line and it doesn't require too much scrolling on the site and they can see exactly what we have to offer if you have a lot of products I also recommend having the icon small that way once again they can get as much information on what they could shop and buy as possible without having to scroll or go to the next page Going into our product page, this is where you really want to be detailed in how you're communicating what your product is, what you have to offer, and making sure that customers are going to be able to buy. So we have the header and the footer that are the same, and we're going to have our title pages. And the one thing I want you to focus on is this detail section. We're actually going to change this and make it a detail and fit. People want to know if your sizes run small, if they run large, if they run true to size, if you have models on your site. People love to know what size the model is so they can compare them to themselves. They want to know the inseams of your item. So put as much detail as possible here. And you're going to want that this section is actually a dynamic input and not something preset. And on the product page back end of your items is where you'll put these unique details in on. And we'll move on to the shipping policy. This is also great to put here because once again, you don't want people clicking around on your site to find information. The more areas and places you have crucial information, the better. You want to make sure to include a size chart. So we're actually going to do a pop-up link and remove the description and put an image instead and then drop in your size chart. Now that we have our top section done, if you sell sets like me or if you just want to encourage people to buy more than one product, then I definitely recommend including suggestions on the bottom of how they can style this item. I have a complete the look section because a lot of my items, like I said, are sets and they can buy the top and easily find the matching bottom without having to go back and click around the site to find it. And now that we have our product page complete, what I love about Shopify's backend, you can actually press add to cart and see what the user experience is within this customization area. And here's what products look like in our cart. I think this page looks great and I would recommend adding in a you might also like section or product recommendations to the bottom of this page as well because you constantly want to be upselling where you can and I think the cart page is a great way to do that and there we have it our completed Shopify store perfect for desktop and mobile experiences and we've been collecting subscribers this entire time so if this took you a few days or a few weeks it doesn't matter because you've made sure to cover your bases and still be collecting information on customers who are interested and want to hear from you. But this is where the work actually begins because you need to have your automation set up so they don't sign up for this email list and are left with radio silence. So head over and check over my must have email automations video and I'll walk you through my must have automations that have helped my brand make multiple six figures, multiple years in a row by really nurturing my community and communicating with them on a preset basis. So I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.